All right, so um, it's been a while since I've actually made this type of video where I just sit down and I talk about topics. I've been doing a lot of the, it's been a lot of fun and a lot of work doing the coffee videos, editing it, getting better at editing, all of that was a journey. It was a lot of fun, but these are the type of videos that I love to make the most and this is the reason why I started the channel. And these are the videos where I sort of just talk to myself and you can guys can join in on the conversation. There might be new people watching this who have never seen me make this type of content, but you're here nonetheless if you hear me like sneeze or anything i have a cold a bad one so i'm feeling feeling it but it is what it is i find it interesting too like at these times when i even catch myself doing it i feel like when we're not feeling so well when we're struggling through some things when we remember that we're christian if you are right or if you believe in god or in any religion it's like these are the moments when we remember to be religious and when life's great, we forget about it. We live on our own volition, off our own morals and beliefs, and we don't really worry about it. And then when things get bad, then we want to turn to a more powerful figure for help. And there's a level, right, where it's like, you go through it long enough, though, of the, the, the thing that's difficult. And then there's a lot of people reach a point where they look at God with resentment and bitterness. So there's that. But the topic I want to talk about today and I have like the script here. Um, it's about being yourself. And I know I've mentioned this before, especially with the Purposeful Dreams video. If you haven't seen that, watch it because it's actually a poem. I wrote a poem for that. I spent like hours writing that script. I love poetry. Um, so I wrote a poem for that. And I think the message is pretty good. So maybe you'll enjoy it. But this video is about being yourself. And the, I've been watching some of Dr. Gabor Mate. Um, as well as some other things as well and this message has been repeated but this is a headline i have is the moment you stop being yourself unapologetically is the moment that you've sold who you are for other people's benefits and that goes from social media to real life always say what you mean be always yourself and never shelter your personality always Always take people's opinions with a grain of salt. Always be bold, be ostentatious, be raw and unprovoked. Be equally yoked to yourself and not the world. Be comfortable in being who you are even if it goes against the grain. Hide no aspect of yourself that you wish not Hide no aspect of yourself that you wish in front of God. When you don't say something because it'll sound bad or because it'll... Sorry. When you don't say something because it'll sound bad or because it'll make it seem like it's something or, you know, make it seem whatever it is. It's dumb. It's all dumb. Be you. Be great at being you. Say a joke if, even if no one will get it. Take a space that's yours. Go after what you want without masking that you want it. Be selfish because who else do you have to consider? Who else are you responsible for? Being selfish should be true to you and sincere and important to the people around you. Being selfish to you shouldn't compromise the well-being of the people you love. So within that definition, you should be selfish. If it doesn't harm the people that you love or that love you and it benefits yourself, don't worry about people who, are, who don't love you. You are who you choose to be. And if you lie to yourself long enough, the mind will believe it. But only deep in your heart will you know the difference. There's a quote from Gabor Mate. I don't know how you pronounce his last name. But he says, a man is raised... Sorry. A child is the father of the man. A child raised the man. And it's this belief of who you are as a child raises who you become as a man. And you can go into that. 
but wrote a book called Blessed with a Brain Tumor. And by the way, he developed a brain tumor at exactly the same spot they used to point at with an imaginary gun to shoot himself in the head when he was thinking of suicide. Mm. I said, what do you mean, blessed with a brain tumor? And he said, well, knowing that I'm going to die, or that I might, means that every moment is precious. Mm. He says, that means that when I'm talking to you or anybody else, I'm fully aware that this may be the last conversation we'll ever have. Mm. That means that every moment is absolutely precious. Mm. I've never been so engaged with life. And that's what people meant. And so that even the disease that was going to take their lives, they, they, they'd say, and why? Because the disease taught them to be authentic for the first time in their lives. And they found out that was much more precious mm -hmm. than anything else. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not a bargain I'd recommend to anybody. Totally, yeah. I'm just telling you that I've witnessed it. Mm -hmm. And it's quite astonishing. Mm -hmm how many people do find authenticity to go back to our previous theme mm. they value that over anything else mm. over even longevity mm -hmm. now most of us would probably run the other way mm -hmm. again i'm not recommending it yeah so if you are a child who's authentic it creates a man who's authentic and if not you have to realize that realize why you're not authentic what stops you from being authentic what things worry you why do you mask who you really are for whose benefit understand where these things come from and then you can heal from them you can end up being yourself and it's a difficult process but it's a really rewarding one.